So I like how uh, basically I've gotten skilled enough in my build to not have to worry about these things. Which is pretty cool. You know, you can you can feel like a witcher, basically. Just go for it and you'll do fine. Particularly in how the use of various potions just... Oh. Hello, Artspore. Ah, this is Merle Shazlong. So that'll be somewhere I get to later as well. Regis. Some other place to meet. Hold on, hold on. Oh god. So this mix is tricky. And also this is a different quest, so I don't want to mix in with this. First, since the ghoul is there, let's equip Necro. Because the golden oil will still heal me for the Arch Spores attacks. Now we need to quickly switch on over to Cursed Oil. There we go. Get your poison to heal me. Thank you. Spit at me. Spit at me if you can. Nope, nope, nope. Don't get more bombs. There we go. That's the heal I need. Perfect. Oh, wow, more of them. There we go. Just like in Witcher 1, strong attacks do do the most damage against him. Now, as I mentioned, I kind of want to make sure to avoid this to not accidentally trigger the other quest. So uh, let's move on our back. Let's check the world map to see how we can avoid this. Just um, go straight north, apparently. There we go. We should be in the clear. And let's have a check what this house is and then move on out. I think I'm catching something. <laughs> Are you now? Oh. I, I'm going to have to use your boat. Oh, wait, that's the other boat I used earlier. Nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on out. God knows how Geralt is getting a boat to move backwards, but then again, I also don't know how he manages to uh, actually break. I love the idea, by the way, that this is just a valley that's flooded. Okay, can I meditate here for just an hour? Cannot do that now, okay. How about now, though? No, okay, fine, 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 fine. We will take a killer whale potion. So that we'll have way more time underwater. Unfortunately, crossbows on the water are heavily overpowered. So that even being a fool, I don't really get injured that much. So 
This definitely is the site of something long lost. Oh. The Woven Storm. These scars long have yearned for your tender caress. How cool. Nice. That is pretty cool. The actual song that she sung. So that could definitely be an entrance. Or couldn't it? Nope. Wars and dies. Okay. We need to make sure to quickly head up before we choke. Oh, new map marker entrance. Wonderful. Convenient. to find everything here. I want to say everything, I just mean a slight minority. Good stuff, good stuff. Carol, Carol, stop being weird. Carol, Carol. A portal right here. Carol, stop being weird. Come on, come on. Really? Uh, okay, fine. We're gonna have to escape because game being weird. He basically sort of reorientates himself and gets stuck behind some stones there. No problem though, it just means we need to uh, have a little bit more of a distance between ourselves and the wall. Now also, is that a chest I see? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's give this another try. Look at that other cave entrance though. I wonder if that is that is something else that we can find. Oh, something else altogether. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see what we can find down there. Would that be you know what? Let's go in this bit first and then go uh, down into that cave if it's not the exit for his lab. Because I'm willing to bet actually that we just go into that portal and then exit throughout that cave. Okay, girl, do it. Do it! So awesome. The proper must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Okay. I see that it is there we go. Level 40. I knew it would be dropping by. It is a little bit over nine, so that makes it another hour. Which means I'm gonna do another one of these uh passive little breaks. Just to get up, stretch. You know, have everyone, give everyone a chance to grab a snack, grab a drink, and be right back with you. So, give me just a couple of minutes, and I'll continue the stream in just a moment.
watching and happy holidays. Hello everyone. So as I said, as I promised, a quick quick break. Um you are gonna get a few frame drops while I try and switch back up to Witcher 3 right now couple of frame drops most likely that is perfectly normal there we go just while we are switching back here we go uh, so just now um, I played a little bit of Maluka who um, is a youtuber who does both let's plays but also as you could obviously hear sings amazingly well and uh, that was, of course, the song we just found the text of, actually. There we go. So I was uh, quite a fan of that. And of course, just hearing that, uh, that thing, uh, or at least just finding that text, reminded me of uh, that song. So I figured, why not play it right away? So somebody is here, obviously, because who else keeps lighting those torches? Now I could... I could, of course, use a cat potion, but again, I don't want to, as you know, um, miss the effect of the lighting and the colors, particularly the colors in these sections. So I choose to use the torch. Planted spikes. Sick sense of humor someone's got. So I said I choose to use uh, these, the torch, rather than than the uh, cat potion, unless we get into combat, in which case the cat potion will be very useful. I wonder if I could just jump it. There we go.
Prince of Persia style. Now, they're asking me to go that direction, but let's have a look at what is there. Quick save. There we go. I did the trick. Perfect. No challenge whatsoever. So beautiful. I just love the aesthetic of this. It's it's very evocative. <coughs> I'm choking up a little because of it. Ah, just kidding. Wow, okay. What are these guardians? I'd imagine these are relics instead of beasts. So let's try to use uh, relic oil. Since they're guardians, you know? Wow. It certainly does more damage than before. Basically, I just need one of them out of my hair. Oh god, oh god, okay. I'm gonna need, in the middle of my roll, magically, to drink the White Raffords Potion. That's an insta-heal. And that will heal me fully. There we go. If you recall, that is firstly because it both insta-heals me to begin with, and secondly, because it also just, there we go, because I get a bonus from it. Um, let's drink maybe, um, I don't really need any other potion right now. Drink something uh, innocent. Sure, Maribor Forest, why not? Hey, Ashel. Um, I'm assuming that looks like Polish. No, ale masz ty godność I unfortunately don't speak that language. I'm sorry. Could you say it in English? Let's see. Hi, Ashel. How are you doing? So that uh, that looked a little bit like uh, Polish, which means that you will have read Swallow's Tower already, and I think the next one in Polish as well, because they just haven't been translated into English yet, or at least have had the chance to. Um, I do need a little bit more health, but let's see if we can hold out a little bit longer. Oh, hello. Can I jump down there and then back up? I don't think so. kind of want to check that out, though. Oh, I'll get there. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, Angielsku will mean English. Mowipo. I. Mowipo. Maybe you cannot speak English? Complete guess, though. See, I think Mubot should come with basic Google Translate. So that it'll just automatically go, yeah, I think you tried to say this, right? Uh, 
Oh, I see. I'm just saying hello. Hey, cool. Hi there. So, uh, Vaden, you tried the um, you tried the root of Google Translate for that. Let's see. Do I have any food and drink? <laughs> See, I don't want to use my swallow just yet. Kind of try to save that a little bit. It's Google Translate to say Barotic speaks English. Ah, that is what that is. Thanks, Vader. I figured it'd be something like that. Okay, so this will lead to that little area here that we saw just now. Yeah, cool. Oh, this is where you want me to go? Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the panthers at least. Oh, is this where we need to go? Didn't climb here. You know what, maybe a swallow would be a good idea, just to just to heal up a little bit. Look at Mass Effect 1 mods. If you were to play, there are some nice textures and lighting mods. Oh, Vaynan, that is cool. Always good to uh, upgrade a game if it's a little bit older, of course. Um, I do think I'll play it, though, Vaynan, actually. Uh, I was thinking of making a, a paste bin with a bit... Wow. With basically just a, a bunch of... Um, a bunch of possible games, which includes um, do Dreamfall. Is that the one? But yeah, just basically make a, a pile of games, Ooh. so that everyone sort of knows like what is the uh, the direction. Maybe get votes on what game would be next. Since certain suspicious individuals are going to hang around outside my. Laboratory. I've been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are, but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal. No interest in my research. Better safe than sorry. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the premises with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I've installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. Bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, he must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose, then, he must find a way to press them every the same here. Geralt, honestly, now. Oh, is that another guardian, is it? Yep, it is. Hi there, fella. Just do this. There we go. I knew there was a good reason to heal up. Dreamfall, yeah, and Dreamfall chapters, yeah. Chapters I just got for free from GOG. So that'd be nice. No, oh, ah, oh, that's the wrong one. I wanted to switch to Thunderbolt. I'm gonna have to meditate soon now with all these potions I'm wasting. Spectre dust? Hold on, are these guardian specters? I assume that they were Crotore as a relic. These guardians may be specters. Episode 5, last chapter is finally complete of Dreamfall chapters. Ah, took them about two years in hindsight. Going to step from Unity 4 to 5. Ah, oh, that's a tricky one from what I understand. And they'll merge five chapters into one long game. 
That's cool. I don't know, I got it for free, so I figured, well, why not give it a fun try? And of course, you know, I do want to make sure to know the background of it, so indeed, do the earlier one. Oh, cool. Very cool. That's first, before we slide down, though. There we go. Find the hidden stuff. Quote unquote hidden. Hello. Course. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Could try to hit them. Yeah. Crossbow, or, um, you know. That's one. Two. I'm assuming that that is where some other ones are. How do I get there, though? Do I... Do I dare jump? Quick save. I'm going to quick save because I don't know whether this actually works. It apparently does not. So I'm not counting that as a death. Because I just literally needed to find out whether that is a mechanic. But yeah, Dreamfall sounds like, um, sounds interesting to try. So that is not a mechanic, in which case... That, the saga comes to a close. Normal longest journey, or is it the end? Funcom holds the IP. Search goals and news for Kickstarter was the longest journey home. To make a direct sequel, point and click. Ooh. So wait, um, Vayner, do you recommend playing The Longest Journey before um, going into Dreamfall? Whoa, whoa. Here, relax, buddy. Hold on. What do you want me to do here, then? Because I assume that that rope is what I'd need to use. But it doesn't... I mean, I'm not getting any prompt. And I don't see anything down there easily. Okay, let's try and use our Witcher Sense to find that... Oh, there we go, high up. That would definitely call for the crossbow. 